I know it's been a long time, but I got 12 days of Christmas stuff. <laughs> Let's get into it. That's right, welcome all my fellow nerds and geeks to this episode. I know it's been a little while since so I've uploaded, there's been a lot of stuff going on, and then with all the COPA talk, it's been just kind of crazy. Just, yeah, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with the channel and stuff. I have a lot of fun doing this, but with that, who knows? But, uh, as you guys may know, or probably do know if you're watching this, you know about Pops, you know that Funko dropped their 12 Days of Christmas mystery bundle box thing. Uh, I think it was like 200 bucks, and I was not, not gonna get it because I knew that uh, in the past two years there has been two maybe three out of the whole 12 days that I've liked and so I wasn't about to to spend that and get a bunch of pops I didn't need I mean they had Teletubbies last year so yeah I'm yeah no uh, I still have friends that have those Teletubbies that can't get rid of them <laughs> um, but so then a uh, few days after the drop we actually got the uh, leaked pictures from Pop Culture, the uh, Australian website, which we used to be able to get pops from, but now it's restri restricted sales and all that stuff. Uh, but basically, they dropped a box as well for them over there, but they only got 11 out of the 12 pops in it. So there was one pop that was a mystery that we didn't know. And so then a couple days later, a day later, we saw an actual leak of all the pops that were in there. And so I was glad I didn't get it because there was a lot that I didn't want, a lot that I didn't need for my collection. Um, but then today they uh, actually had the boxes, or they didn't have the boxes, they just had the pops at H Funko HQ. And so I, after work, ran over there. I was really hoping they had everything I wanted and they had all the ones that I wanted. They actually had everything uh, there, bunches of them. I know that uh, the rumor was there was like 14,000 or some cases, boxes, total bundles and they only sold like 4,000 online. So um, I was able to get those. They also had a drop today that I was able to pick up and they had a drop last week that, or earlier in the week and I got both of them because they kind of go with my stuff that I have. So the pop they had earlier in the week that I went ahead and picked up is part of the Fantastic Plastic line, even though it still says Spastic Plastic on the back. And this is Luther, uh, Really interesting looking pop, really cool looking. So I have a feeling that they have a bunch of these spastic plastics or fantastic plastics that are still just waiting around because if they, they haven't had a chance to change the name yet. So um, they probably got tons of these boxes. I do love the art on this box. Um, you can see all the black cats and the the uh, RIP and all the bones and stuff. So I thought this was really cool to go with this fantastic, fantastic plastics line. So. Then, as far as today's drop, this one I probably will take out. Um, this was unique. This was definitely unique. So when we saw it, we were just kind of like, uh, I don't know about that. Uh, they went with, and I haven't actually picked up the common version of this, so I figured I'd get the exclusive. When I first saw what the email said, I thought it was going to be like a glow in the dark or a completely clear. It's not. It is a flocked Iceman. So, um... Yeah, uh, I have been picking up a lot of these 80 year characters because uh, I do like a lot of the older looks on them. I love that they're do we're getting the old X-Men and, and that kind of stuff. But this was, this kind of threw me off, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but there was some good, some people made some good points about it is that, you know, sometimes when you see freshly fallen snow, it does look kind of flocked. So um, yeah, and it actually does look kind of cool. It is, like I said, very, very odd. Um, but it's just him that's flocked, nothing on the bottom. But, I mean, it's gonna be hard to really see, but uh, I guess it's, you can see it pretty well. It is weird. It is just weird. Um, I did wanna get this pop, and so it is cool to have it. Like I said, it's just, just the oddest thing. So, uh, that is it. I don't wanna spend too much time on these, I do have a lot of stuff to get through. So then going with that, uh, we actually, before I get onto the 12 Days of Christmas ones I did get, I got a package today from someone in the Los Locos group and uh, he was able to go to Decon. He picked up a few things. So he had some extras. I messaged him. I was able to get some. Super excited. So I got the Mark Hamill 
as Joker. And it has the decon sticker, and I was really, I was glad I got it. Um, I think he was able to get himself a purple one, which is really cool. I did see the purple ones later, and um, they did have some, there was like a white shirt and a black shirt. Uh, so I saw some people get some of those. I thought it was cool. I just really liked the idea of him being in the Joker costume. So I was really excited to get that. But he also picked me up, and I actually took it out of the package because I was trying to put the code in, and it is the the uh, fig pin of Vincent, and I actually thought it was going to be the regular one, but he actually sent me the glitter limited to 500 piece one, so that is really, really cool. Uh, I tried to put it in the fig pin app, and they have a new verification thing, it was really weird, so when I get done with this video, I'm gonna try and do it again. So, then moving on to the 12 days of Christmas that I got, which is not even close to 12 days, because there was not a lot that I was really hoping to get out of there. Um, but I had to pick up because I now have all of the Christmas fantastic plastics. Um, I had to get jingles. So he will go with my Christmas fantastic plastic. Even though, there it is again. There it is. It says spastic plastic on there. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I do like this one. It will definitely fit in great with the last two years of the Christmas Fantastic, I keep wanting to say spastic, fantastic plastics. So um, the great thing about having them at HQ is that I was able to get the boxes that I liked. So that is always good. I mean, it, normally HQ sends stuff pretty well, but I did see that they sent out that limited thousand piece toucan and they didn't put it in pop uh, the shipping boxes, which they always put theirs in the shippers and they didn't for that one, so. Then this was one I had to get to go with this, this with blah, 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 blah with my collection of the Rick and Morty stuff, and I have not seen the glow on this yet, but uh, I will definitely post a picture of the glow, and this is Rick with the glowing chicken. If you've seen the episode, it's basically the first episode. There is a bunch of different holograms, and that is where you get that, and you kind of see on the back, there's the common one here. Um, it's funny that all these characters that in the first wave of this new season, these are all in the first episode. So if you've seen the first episode, it is really funny. Um, but yes, so you guys will see the glow here. I'm not going to take these out of the box because I've got so many of them and I don't want to have like a 20 minute video. So um, there we go with that one. So then moving right along, I think probably the one that was a lot of people were most excited for, and there are going to be a couple variants of this guy, actually, we already know of, uh, and it, I don't want to say the box wasn't like ad icon heavy, but there definitely was a few ad icons in there. Um, so this one is Icy Polar Bear. So and as you can tell, this one actually has a different sticker. So I think they were planning on releasing this as a different set and then decided, you know what, it's cold, it looks like winter. Let's put it in the 12 days of Christmas box. So it just has the standard sticker on here. And so what you're gonna get is actually with the, uh, there's gonna be a variant that is at Hot Topic that <laughs> is a purple icy, and it's actually a scented, so it's gonna smell like grapes. So uh, I don't know, I think that's, it, they said it's gonna be coming out soon, probably this month sometime. So if you're unable to get this one from the box, you will be able to pick that one up at Hot Topic. I'm sure they're gonna have a ton of them. I, I can't remember, I, he might even have the same color sweater on that he does in this. I can't, off the top of my head, I can't remember the pictures. So um, that could be. Then this has become kind of a staple of theirs and I just realized that the box I picked was not in good shape. I didn't see that because I know there was a bunch that were in bad shape. So, um, yeah, that stinks. So, we have the Pillsbury Doughboy, and this is him in the Santa Claus outfit, and he's got a plate of cookies there. So, um, and I didn't realize the first one I grabbed, the box was all beat up on top and stuff, and then I grabbed this one, I was looking at it, there's a bunch of people around the table, and I didn't notice this whole edge right here is just crunched in. So, that really stinks, but uh, that was my own fault for not paying attention, so. Dang. But then the main one that I actually really kind of wanted that I knew because this is the only one besides the Tinkerbell that they uh, posted. And if you guys seen, I got the other K 
character in this, so now we're just waiting on a third, and that is the Frankenberry, and this is the 10 inch Frankenberry. So uh, all we need now is Booberry, and these are in the old mold, the old uh, poses from like the original ones that came out. I do have the ones with the cereal bowls that came out last year sometime. So, um, and Frankenberry was actually one of my favorites of those three. So I was excited and I figured there's not a lot of people that collect the 10 inch pops. So um, it would have been pretty easy for me to get later on after everyone got their boxes and stuff. So, but this one I am going to take out because I want to see it in all its glory because I think this is a really cool character. So there we go. We have got the 10 inch Frankenberry. So like I said, now we know for sure we are gonna have to get a Booberry at some point. So um, whew, these big ones always have that really strong vinyl smell, but they did a really good job. There's everything looks really good on here as far as paint goes, as far as the different colors and stuff. Really, really cool. Um, so there is that guy. Really awesome. So that is what I got uh, from the 12 Days of Christmas. I was happy that I was able to get the ones that I actually wanted versus having to get all the whole thing, which I, there was a lot in there that I just didn't really care for, didn't go with my collection. Um, but it was cool. They had the two more, uh, the I don't know, they're calling them bat players or whatever from the Warriors movie. Um, they had a, a Huckleberry Hound with a Santa hat on. They had a Scooby-Doo. He was all wrapped in Christmas lights and had a Santa hat on. They had... I don't know. There was one other one that I, I'm not sure what what the other one was. I think it, I want to say it was like a game, a gaming pop or something. So, and I, I can't remember every one of them, but that is it is what as far as I, what I can remember. So that is it for this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at NerdSmithing. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome, people.